Stories with Jess Lujan. We're back. My guest, uh, Tim Rohr, Jungle Watch, that is. Yes. Tim, let, let, me, let, me, ask, let me ask you this. Um, RMS up in the uh, up there in in Jonia, you know, this last Sunday in the Umatuna, um, basically it was KUAM questionnaire basically that mm -hmm. that they answered, mm -hmm. and I know previous to that you and I had spoken, mm -hmm. and I forward you also the mm -hmm. the, uh, the questions and the answers, mm -hmm. and you put it in your blog, and of course mm -hmm. you dispute it, and you put in black and white mm -hmm. all your disputes. Mm -hmm. Now, were they were the apostolic visitors? Concern about RMS, mm -hmm. and were they able to again possibly get the the lowdown from maybe the former uh, um, finance council, the, the ones that that Aperon fired? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, from my understanding, um, the uh, former finance council, the four members that were terminated mm -hmm. by Archbishop Aperon for refusing to transfer the title to RMS, so mm -hmm. that property. Uh, in fact, the the, the visitors actually had a re a requested a meeting with them. Mm. And from my understanding, uh, Mr. Antalon and Mr. Rivera, the, 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 the members of the Finance Council, laid it completely out in front of them and showed how that's a corporation that is not subject to the control of the Archbishop. Uh, uh, and uh, even, even worse than that, it's not only not subject to the control of the Archbishop of Agania, mm -hmm. okay, it's actually subject to the control of uh, the Claudia and Giuseppe Gianarini and a guy named Father Angelo Pachetti. They outvote the, the Archbishop. Well, yeah. but even then, uh, on the Board of Guarantors, the Ar Ar instead of saying Archbishop of Agania, um, it has Archbishop Anthony Aperon mm. personally. Oh. So his successor wouldn't even be able to be on that Board of Guarantors because he, so it, essentially he deeded the property to himself, to himself. <laughs> is really what it is. So whether he intended to do that, I don't know, but it says Archbishop Anthony S. Mm -hmm. Aperon, not Archbishop of Agania. So, so, so Tim, so, yeah. so for the lay mm -hmm. person out there that's right. listening to this, uh, you know, we want to go get a loan to, to build an extension right. or, or whatever. Yep. So the Catholic mm -hmm. Church wants to build a couple more parishes mm -hmm. and all that. And, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the bank will say, well, um, mm -hmm. Catholic Church, uh, mm -hmm. Archdiocese of Agania, yep. what's your collateral? Are you going to put right. up collateral? Okay. So. What you're saying is yep. the Catholic Church cannot now use that as collateral property. So it, it's gone, basically. It's not in, in their inventory. It's gone. And if the Archdiocese wants to refute that claim, mm -hmm. all they have to do is get an opinion from their legal counsel and print it. But they never will mm -hmm. because their legal counsel is going to tell them the truth. That property is gone. It's gone. Finished. Okay. $44 million <laughs> property, which is what it costs to develop it. Sure is gone. It is a sign to a corporation that is not in control of the Archdiocese of Agania. Mm -hmm. It's gone forever. Um, Archbishop can't even uh, uh, deed it back to himself because he's not in control of the corporation sure. that it now belongs to. So $44 million asset of the, of the, of, of the Archdiocese of Agania uh, has now passed to another corporation, which is why, see if there was nothing wrong with doing mm -hmm. that, sure. Archbishop Aperon would have had no trouble actually making it public. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, the deed of restriction includes a decree mm -hmm. of designation. A decree sure. is a public announcement. That should have been made public to the mm -hmm. people of the Archdiocese of Agania. The reason being is that because Archbishop of Agania as a corporate soul mm -hmm. is a trustee. Sure. Okay. And you and I are the beneficiaries. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we have a right to know about these things. Mm -hmm. Now he has certain powers of what he can do, but he it's not his to mm -hmm. act and do whatever he wants, and he's been told that, mm -hmm. okay? But in this particular situ situation, he did whatever he wanted to do. Yeah. In fact, he did what he was told to do. <laughs> he was told to do this by Giuseppe Gianarini, mm -hmm. uh, who um, wants control of, or Kiko Arguello. I mean, these are the guys pulling sure. the strings. So, um, in fact, that deed restriction, and I, 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 challenge the, I challenge the Archdiocese. Go ahead and, and print the opinion of the Archdiocese and legal counsel and prove, not me wrong, yeah. okay, but uh, actually the former AFC, uh, uh, wrong mm -hmm. that uh, this is uh, this is what's happened. It's yeah. gone. We, yeah. we, it's not a forty-four million dollar asset mm -hmm. deeded for perpetual use by a corporation that is not in the control of the Archdiocese of mm -hmm. Agania. Yeah, you know, uh, and sh shifting to yep. another subject that, right. uh, that as, as part of this this whole thing here. Uh, of course, I, I've had I had John Tovez on um, here show a, a few weeks back. Yep. Um, I, I heard um, he, he was on other uh, stations mm -hmm. uh, talking about yep. a, a gathering of some people and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. For, first of all, are you are you involved in mm -hmm. uh, in, in that in, in 
John Tobis's and whatever movement he's trying to put together. Thanks for asking that. From the beginning, even though John Tobis co contact everybody contacts sure. me for, through my blog, sure. <clears throat> I basically said I don't I don't know anything about sure. what you know. Sure. So whatever you do, you're gonna have to be on your own. I'll use my blog to let people know where mm -hmm. to find you, how to mm -hmm. find you, whatever. But everything you do is going to be mm -hmm. completely mm -hmm. on your own. So. In fact, I didn't know anything about this Facebook holy war or whatever mm -hmm, that he mm -hmm. that he's launching. So, um, uh, but just like the people that organize the prayer groups and stuff, sure, like that, sure. I didn't know about that either. Sure. And I think what's happening is that people are waking up and and, and seeing, uh, you know, we just can't let this go on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're finding whatever ways, whatever sure. means they mm -hmm, have to mm -hmm. actually say. Uh, this has to stop mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I guess that's what that's what John's doing again I don't know what he knows uh, I you know he seems to know something and sure. but I told him you you go ahead I'll yeah. let people know how to find you but that's all I can do so what sense did you get there because you're, you're you're well versed and, and people senses and, and reading uh, again <coughs> what they're what they're thinking yeah mm -hmm. what did you what sense did you get from the business from the questions they asked you mm -hmm. what are you about what is your motive and all this mm -hmm. and obviously they've called uh, supposedly the the folks <coughs> who, who wanted meetings but were mm -hmm. told that you know they were they're all booked up obviously they on their own called them to meet with them what was your sense on where this might go you know I, I want to answer that real quickly but there's one more thing I have to insert okay. because there was a time at, during the meeting where they were trying to find my motivations okay. and, and it was uh, kind of insinuating that I was on a personal crusade sure, to cleanse sure. the church. Sure, yeah. And I stopped them. I said, no, Archbishop. I'm talking to Archbishop Hahn. Okay. No, Archbishop. I said, um, I'm a father of 11 children. I'm trying to get their souls into heaven. And I'm fighting like hell against my arch own Archbishop to do it, and I shouldn't have to, mm -hmm. because I need people like you to do your job. And um, I was really pretty angry yeah yeah uh, because that's what I, sure those of us with families are having to fight against our religious leaders for the sake of our own families mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. shouldn't we, we shouldn't have to be doing sure, that so sure. I said that but in the end they asked for my help yeah and so yes where are we gonna go from here yeah um, and uh, so I, I agreed to help I agreed to soften the tone of the blog and so but I said I'm gonna remain vigilant because mm -hmm. the minute they put out another lie I'm gonna call them on mm -hmm. it and it's your job. And I said, uh, what I need you to do, Archbishop, is I need you to go after the people that are controlling mm -hmm. this archdiocese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, they were just nodding their heads. They weren't saying, yes, we will. And it sure. says, I, I need you to go after the Generinis because I can't reach them. Because sure. so, those, those are the guys mm -hmm. that are really doing, doing, doing the stuff here. But all of my dreams of any kind of reconciliation were completely blasted the very next day or two days later on Sunday morning when we got the Uma Tuna <laughs> with them using it as a propaganda sheet <laughs> to defend all the lies that they've been telling us. And on the very day that the visitors were departing, you know, <laughs> we, they come out and use on the front page, yeah. right underneath the picture and the headlines about the one reconciliation and Tony Diaz writes an editorial about peace and reconciliation. And here's the Archbishop declaring war on us right on the front page of the Uma Tuna. So, I, I have no hope. Yeah. I really have no hope. And, and that's that's what yeah. I'm getting to because yeah. where do we go from here, Tim? Because yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people now. I mean, yep. people that I mean, I, I'm looking out there, and I'm former uh, former Senator Casper Bauer was interviewed in, mm -hmm. in, 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 a, in a prayer uh, yep. um, prayer peaceful protest that they had uh, in, at uh, St. Anthony Church, and uh, again. Uh, Greg Paris, who's who's the uh, yep. president of, of CCOG, yep. and, and people are like, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing them in the background. I'm seeing marching. I'm going, really? Yep. Wow! Yep. People that that, that mm -hmm. you know just mind mm -hmm. their own business, go about their own daily um, chores and work and things like right. that, and right. you know, church going people. Yep. A and so when they ask you to help, mm -hmm. but you say, well. I can help you, but you need to help us as well. I mean, <laughs> right, so yeah. mm -hmm. did you get a sense that they will help us? Yeah, uh, I know that they have a procedure. They, they told mm -hmm. me, look, we have a procedure we have to follow. And that's all they really could say. Uh -huh. They have to go back to Rome. They have to re write the report. It has to go through. They have to check all the boxes. They're mm -hmm. not going to break uh, church law as sure, our own archbishop sure, sure. Uh, did. Um, I, I believe that they had a meeting with the clergy where they proposed, I think, a temporary solution or some kind of way of being mm -hmm. able to address the th situation in the meanwhile. Well, like a third party fiduciary. <laughs> uh, so, something like that. Um, uh, but I, I just feel that it's, it's really, truly hopeless uh, given the behavior. And again, Archbishop Aperon is not even con in control of it. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. else is in control of this. But so long as somebody else can be in control, then the, then the archbishop can't stay mm -hmm, in control. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, where do we go from here? We, we, we go right back to the war. Sure. Because we have no choice. Yeah. 
we, we were willing to back down, but they threw it in our faces mm -hmm. all over again. So yeah. obviously they don't care. I think that the real thing is, is that uh, Archbishop Afro has been assured that Kiko Arguello has the kind of the, mm -hmm. the leader of the Neocatechism sure. has the power to uh, do whatever he needs to do in Rome to to fix the problem or to, and to save yeah. Archbishop Afro. I mean, some of, some of the some of the folks that that comment on on the blog, if if uh, again, if one one of the posters there was is correct and accurate, uh, pretty much saying you know there are going to be a lot of transfers coming about, and they name the, the different priests that are going to be in different places, mm. and uh, it, it looks like some of these these newer priests, these neo priests, are yep. are coming out of freshly being ordained mm. to pastors. Uh, um, I, I, I hope that Archbishop Hahn and Archbishop Krebs had a talk with Archbishop Aperon about that uh, because it is extremely bad practice to take a freshly ordained guy who hardly has any education anyway and shove him into position of pastor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a disaster waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, so on that grounds alone, I think that the visitors had uh, some, uh, some grounds to be able to address to Archbishop address Aperon mm -hmm. on this mass production mm -hmm. of priests yeah. and sticking them in positions mm -hmm. that they're not prepared for sure, at all. Sure. Now, now, how do they feel about that uh, kind of, uh, again, priest school, I guess, you know, and, and how, what happens with that? I mean, you know, I, I know i got to wind it up, but, but are they satisfied with, with with the quality of what's coming out of RMS? We don't know. I do know that this Father Ted Nowak is a seminary specialist, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't have brought him here along with, if they didn't think there was something wrong. Well, we all know there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. We can see the product. Sure. Okay. But uh, so, there, so, so that's why he came, and what the investigation turned up, we don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. Be right back.